One thing I notice about myself, and maybe you're like me, is I like to overcomplicate my fishing process a little bit too much. And sometimes when I realize that I've just gotten too out of hand with the complicated fishing rigs and tackle and gear and lures, I just need to stop, rewind, simplify my process, and kind of get back to the basics. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you my basic setup, my go-to setup, that can basically remove all the thought process away from getting ready for a fishing trip out on the beach and catch a ton of fish. And we're diving in right now. So like I said, sometimes, a lot of times, I like to overcomplicate things. You know, the sport of fishing is a ton of fun. There's a lot of different options. Uh, you can go with, you know, different types of topwater lures and, and swim baits, plastics. You can go with live bait. You can go with all sorts of fancy rigs. You know, you name it, there's just countless and countless different options out there. But sometimes you just need that one simple option, that simple solution that's your go-to. The one that's going to catch you the most amount of fish, the one that requires the least amount of forethought, simple setup, simple gear, easy to work with, easy to fish, anybody can do it. So what is that for me? Um, for me, when it comes to surf fishing, I find that the Dumble Drop Pompano rig is pretty much the best rig for pretty much all the different types of species that I catch out here on the beach, or at least most of the different species that I catch on the beach. I've caught drum, I've caught redfish, I've caught speckled trout, ladyfish, bluefish, pompano, whiting, catfish, jack, you name it. If it swims out here, it's going to hit something on that double drop pompano rig. And when it comes to bait, I find my simplest solution is gonna be one of either fish bites or fish gum. I do have another video that I'm gonna be posting and I'm comparing and contrasting these two types of baits. So if you follow along, be sure to look out for that video where maybe I land on a winner between these two particular baits. So I'm gonna rig up my, uh, one of my rods with this pompano rig. And what I have here is a Captain's Choice Tackle double drop pompano rig is a pre-rig and I picked it up at my local tackle shop um, uh, strike zone right up here in Melbourne Florida um, but they make these with a two-aught circle hooks and 30 pound monofilament uh, line so pretty good high quality uh, rigs here and these rigs come on with um, come pre-tied on with a barrel swivel that's on one end that's attached to the 30 pound monofilament and then they have two drop rigs, so they call it the double drop rigs, that are right in the middle, which have floaters on it that allow the hook to kind of stay up in the water, and then the circle hook um, on the end there. So that's two of those. And then on the far side, they basically just have this clip, and this is where we'll attach our um, Sputnik sinker on there. Um, so to tie on this, double drop pompano rig to my main line. I have my main line, which is my uh, 20 pound Power Pro braid. Um, and I just use a normal clinch knot. Um, really any knot will do. Like I've said in other videos, the most important thing with any of these knots is that you're comfortable with it. Because we don't want knot failures. Secure that tie it on down, get a good tug on it, and then you can trim off this tail with a good pair of scissors. So one tool that I always have is a nice pair of scissors, and after every trip, to make them last the longest, I make sure to clean them. Um, I learned my lesson on other videos on keeping the, ta uh, the tag ends, keep the beach clean, don't throw your tag ends on the beach. Put it away in your trash bucket and then throw it away at, at the house. Now we're just gonna put on a piece of fish bites. So we'll put a, cut, put a small cut here for fish bites on hook number one. Pretty simple. And then for fish gum, I'll do the same thing. Cut off a sliver. And on hook number two, oops, 
put on a sliver. Uh, another trick, you don't have to use giant pieces of bait for these smaller fish that we normally catch on the beach. If you put too big of a hook on there, number one, the crabs and the crustaceans are all just gonna eat it away without grabbing the hook. Or number two, the fish you're after aren't gonna be able to get it in their mouth. So small bait goes a long way. After we have that, we're gonna put our Sputnik sinker on and I'm just gonna take the clip, put the clip, the hook on the clip, secure the clip, and we're rigged up just like that. Super fast, super easy, super simple basics. That's all we need. All right, now we're gonna toss it out. All right, and like I said, when we're tossing this out, um, the fish are pretty shallow. They're not super deep out. Um, there's like one or two troughs that run parallel with the beaches, and you really just wanna get it in either the first or the second trough. Today, I'm just shooting for the first one. So we'll toss it out, not that far, right between where the waves are crashing, and we'll let it sink, and we'll put it in our rod holder and wait. Before you ask why, before you ask why my um, rod holders are so far away from the beach, the tide's going out. They were a lot closer earlier this morning, and I just have not moved it closer. So. All right, let's see if we can catch some fish. See what we got. Got a little strike there. Hopefully, it was a pretty big strike. Bent the rod over, and now I don't feel anything. Let's see what we got, if anything. Oh yeah, I think we got a little something. What is it? What is it? It's little. Little pompano. Not quite big enough. But he's close. He's closer. Pretty good. So, you know, like I said, they work. That one was on the fish bites. So, uh, you know, not quite, not quite big enough. But we'll have to go back. I think they have to be 11 inches to the, to the fork. So he'll go back. But that's promising. Yay. All right, I'm not back out here. Woo, another pompano. All right, so that about wraps it up for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, we all like to overcomplicate a lot of things, including fishing. Sometimes it's best just to simplify your process, stick to the basics. And how I do that is go right back to the double drop pompano rig, Spucknick sinker, fish bites or fish gum, send it and wait for those fish to come by. I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, tight lines, y'all.